What's going on guys? Jace Machine here and today I have a little tutorial explaining how to customize your Star Maid. So let's get to it. Uh, go into your Star Maid folder. This is where Star Maid lives on your computer. When you're inside here I want you to scroll down through your files and you're looking for server this guy right here before messing with anything make certain that you set up a copy of your unaltered server file here all right that's why I have a second copy sitting above it that way if I do anything stupid that I can't fix we could just revert back to the original file with this and uh, no harm no foul going to click on the server and open it up this is a CFG file we're gonna open that guy all right, now what you're looking at inside the file is pretty much everything that you can do to customize your server. This handles all sorts of information, it tells you how long a day is, you can have it set up so that your asteroids can be moved in space if you bump into them, you can turn on and off collision damage. This part right here controls how many starting credits you get when you start a brand new game. The floating item lifetime seconds. This shows you how long items can stay alive floating in space without despawning. Here is something you can do right off the bat. If you don't want enemies to spawn, then you can set this to false. One of the things that I like is the ignore docking area. I have mine set to true because I want it to ignore the docking area. I don't want it to worry about how big a ship is. Now that's a major difference from normal vanilla. Uh, star made, but it might be something that you want to change in your own and if you're wondering how to change this file I'll show you how in the next step You want to select all You want to select all and then you want to copy the entire thing. Now the next thing you want to open up is Notepad. Go ahead and paste everything in here. Now you can customize anything. You can remove and cut things out of here. Don't change anything if you don't know what it does. But really, most specifically, you want to make sure that you have taken your copy of your server config file and you've made a duplicate of it. Before doing anything, you want to take your configuration file and make a copy of it. Guess I should just use that real quick. Now that we've selected all of the text from the configuration file and we copied it into a fresh page on Notepad, what we can do now is just change stuff. You can protect a starting sector, which is basically like having a protected spawn point. People won't be able to just come in and mess things up. Here the items live for 240 seconds before they despawn, but what if we want to keep them around for 500 seconds? Just change that. You want to have more credits on the startup? No problem. Now you have a lot more credits. You can decide that you want your asteroids to have dynamic physics by enabling true. Now they'll spin around and bump off into space if you crash into them. Do you want bad things to happen to you when you're flying into something? Change this setting to true. The thrust speed limit controls how fast your default speed on your server is. Uh, I have mine set to 70. Some servers have it set to 100. I like mine nice and sort of in the middle of the road there. Of course, this is one of my favorites, the ignore docking area. Normally it's set to false. We want to ignore it, so we're going to set that to true. Another feature that I use that I've customized is the uh, player max build area. 
you've noticed that mine is set to 20. 10 is the standard. You can change that and make it as grand as you'd like. Alright, in order to make all of this stuff usable, you have to save it as a CFG file. So when you go here, you're going to want to save as... You're going to want to save it as server.cfg. Be sure to save that file right here in your main StarMade folder right there next to your copy that you made first of the original unmodified file and that should be good to go this your game is going to take into account all of this information that you change the next time you play it and here's a little fun thing that you can do on the side the server message file is empty when you open it up but you can type anything you'd like Welcome to Phobia Craft Galaxies! And just save this file as the server message. And that'll replace the old one. And the next time you open your game, whatever message you had left in the server message will be displayed for all players as soon as they log into your server. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I was able to help answer some of the questions that have been popping up into the comments section. If you have more questions, feel free to just continue asking them, and I'll do my best to answer them. Appreciate you watching, guys. I'll have a little bit more of a Let's Play style video coming up. And of course, in the future, sometime soon, I'm going to be showing you exactly how those warp gates work and how to build them. So thanks again, guys. I love you all. Take care. I'll see you next time. Peace.